If you have a plant in your house that you really like or your friend has a plant you really like, it's easy to make those plants multiply. Our DIY expert Rebecca Cole shows us some of the tricks she's learned over the years to root plants from cuttings. <music> So this ivy was my daughter's. About a year, two years ago, it was nearly dead. I brought it back to life. She wants it back. I don't want to give it back, but instead what I've done is taken stem cutting so I can have my own plant. This is a great way to get plants for free, basically. The first thing we're going to do is take a stem cutting from the house plant. So I'm going to just take the end of this ivy. I want four to six inches of a stem. So this is actually pretty good, and I want to cut it below a leaf node here. So before we drop this in water, we want to remove all the leaves that will be in the water. So simply go through and pinch these off. And I hate to do it, but we're going to do this big one too. That leaves a lot of stem where roots can grow. Now I've got this little jar. You can use a mason jar, a bottle, fill it up with water, then just drop the stem right in the water. Probably not worth mentioning, but this is an old empty whiskey bottle that I did not drink, by the way. So that's all there is to it. In about three to four weeks, you're going to start seeing little baby roots developing. And one thing to keep in mind, you do want to change the water probably once every week, clean water. I like to wash out the jar every once in a while. I just use kosher salt and shake it up and clean it. But keep in mind, you don't want any foliage in the water. Otherwise, it starts rotting and it will pollute the water. So this is what it eventually looks like. So this has been rooting um, actually longer than the three to four weeks. I love it just sitting on the counter, but I'm ready to plant it up. So that's the next step. Okay, now any potting mix will do just fine. I prefer those that have fertilizer already in it so I don't have to worry about feeding it. But when you're potting up rooted plants that have the bare roots, you need moist soil. So what I'll do here is Put some soil in a bowl or a bucket. Now this seems really silly, but we want to water the soil first before we pot up the plant. And the reason we're doing this is if the soil is dry, it will actually dry the roots and that is not good for transplanting. So we want it nice and moist like this. All right, now we're going to fill up our pot and we're only going to fill it about halfway like so. All right, then we're going to take our rooted plants out very carefully. And I just want you to see these roots. I mean, this, look how lovely. Oops, my hands look terrible. Look how pretty. That's really nice and healthy. And putting it gently into the soil, we're not going to compact the soil. I'm going to remove this leaf so it doesn't rot. But we'll put this right down. You don't need to add any pressure but I'm going to add the three, three plants right here. There you go. All right, so that's all there is to it. So we'll clean up this pot. Now here's the key. You, you don't want to put this in direct sun because this is a baby plant trying to get established and it's a little bit shocked right now. So we'll keep it out of direct light. You want to keep the soil damp, not wet, but damp. And then in about a month or so, you're gonna start seeing new growth. When that happens, then you know you can put it more toward the sun. You can add water when it starts getting dry. Let it dry out a little bit more. This is a great way to expand your plant collection. In fact, you can see I've done a couple of here, had little babies. This one is growing nicely. I keep it nice and moist until it takes off. This wire vine was in my annual containers last year. I took a few cuttings and had these two survive. So they're coming along, took a long time. Then, of course, there is our favorite, right, our Christmas cactus, which from our segment in December, I took a cutting, and it's already taking root. Before you know it, hopefully that will be blooming maybe next year. Oh, well. I'm Rebecca Coles, WCCO 4 News. You'll find more DIY ideas on Rebecca's Instagram page. Final call for the...